to children of the base inside. Revelation put it together. There's a massive 10,000 plus people at Wembley, and it is a massive night. Check it out, see how it started, see what happened in the middle, and see how it ended. This is Ray in your face.
managed to catch up with DJ Raf at one of the big events over 95 and I thought I'd ask her a few questions about the race scene. What, what do you think? How do you think it's going at the moment? I think it's going much better, more positive at the moment. The promoter's making more of an effort. Um, you know, it's definitely getting bigger and bigger, I mean, with record sales and everything. So I think it's going the right way. But we know you're rushing around and you're in a rush at the moment. How many events are you playing just tonight? Six tonight. <laughs> Six tonight? Yeah. And, like, are they sort of all near each other? Or um, yeah, you kind of plan it out. Like, I've only, after here, I've got to go 15 minutes down the road, then South End, and then everything else is in London. So last year, just too much all up north and driving around. It was foggy and stuff. So I want to keep it in London, you know, so I'm with all my mates and everything. So you're one of the top DJs now. I mean, you are the <laughs> top female DJ at the moment. How, um, did, you, how did you get there? I don't really look at I don't look at sex as being important really. I mean, you know, there's no physical differences between me and anyone in the way of DJ and doesn't get in the way. So I tend to look at it like you're just a good DJ, you know, there's like millions of DJs that are probably better that just haven't got there because they haven't got the push. They're not as bossy as we are, you know, not as quite as demanding. It's more about how bossy you are and pushy and knowing what you want than so much talent. Obviously you've got to be good, but I don't know man, it's just the love of the music. First and foremost, I think you've got to want to do it rather than think about the money, which a lot of people don't realise, but a lot of us are doing it more because of the love of it. Of course, the money comes, but yeah. you know, you eventually. Be... <laughs> yeah, you seem to be doing okay. At the well, moment. Um, well, just one quick question, because we know you're in a rush. Um, the scene as it stands, I mean, there's a lot of division between hardcore, jungle, you know, all the different sort of categories of music at the moment. What's your favourite and why? Um, basically, I think there's too many words for different music. I think it just should be called good music. Like, when I get on the decks there, I'm not listening to what anyone's telling me to play. I'm listening to the crowd. And if they don't like what I'm playing, I'm obviously going to listen to them and change accordingly. But uh, I'm not into people saying, you must play happy this or you must play junk. I just play what I'm, I'm playing. That's why I get booked for my style. I tend to play the most melodic music there is out there, the most strings, but with the heaviest drum and bass. So I tend to keep to that formula. I play pretty much what everyone else is into. I'm not very um, abstract musically, but you know, I just like the same as most of the ravers. I'm a raver first, so yeah, I don't know about all these labels, man. I just play good music. That's it, you know. DJ Rap. Bye.
DJ Slipknot, known throughout the world for his talents on the mixing decks, as well as his produ production talents, which are extraordinary to say the least. How are you? Yeah, pretty knackered as it happens. He's Every about, night. Done about six or seven. How many venues you've done so far? This is my sixth tonight. Sixth venue, and he's still going on after this. Just so. about. <laughs> Most of my last legs now, am I? So how well, did you get involved in this? Um. Through my brother, really. I mean, I've always been into DJing and music, etc. But I got into the rave scene through um, my brother. I used to run Rain Dance a long time ago, back in '89. So it was a lucky break. And I had a, had a break, yeah. But they gave me the platform to like use my talent. You know what I mean? Luckily, it paid off. Because you've actually been voted number one DJ in the country for the music you play. I mean, I know you play a lot of diversity, but happy yeah. in particular. I'm playing hardcore, yeah, definitely. What gives you that buzz then? What, what makes you happy? Um, I don't know, it's just me. I think it's just the way I play. I, I just get into it more. I like the crowd response and playing that type of music. It's just more me, you know what I mean? So what do you think of the sort of sudden influx of jungle taking, or seeming to take over the scene at the moment? Um, yeah, it's all right. I mean, I think it's really taking over. It's become a lot more commercial. But in a way, you know, that's good because it means Certain people who have been into it for a long time are getting paid now. That way, it's good. Tell us about your music career. I mean, you've had records all over the charts, and uh, let's in on that. <laughs> I've been making tunes since about '89, believe it or not. But, um, yeah, I've, I've been in the charts a few times, top of the pops and that. But um, at the moment, I'm doing a lot of remixing work. I'm just starting my own label, Universal Records. First release will be out in January. Is that a combination of house or is that again on happy? Happy hardcore. Right. Hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you've got an, like I mean, as you know, as we've seen today, you've got an enormous fan base out there. You know, is there anything you want to say to all your supporters? Uh, <laughs> keep supporting. <laughs> keep buying the records, and I'll just do my best to please them. That is it. As the countdown continues, almost approaching 15 minutes away from the new year. As the countdown continues, remember, 15 minutes. Right now inside the place, moving into inside the sounds of the Donovan Bad Boy Smith. 
Sounds of the Donovan stepping out. As the countdown continues for the new year, 15 minutes or 15 minutes only away.
whistle crew inside the place. And we don't stop building the vibes, remember that. So I'm taking you through. Time to find yourself a space, time to jump around. Watch it.
we managed to catch up with MC JJ, one of the big MCs on the circuit, especially when it comes to the happy vibe. How's it going? Yeah, man, all right, not too bad, boy. Just been out there. It's all right. It's, bad. Yeah, it's a big crowd out there tonight. You've really managed to hype them up and get them in a right wild state. I mean, well, how's man. it done? Well, I don't know, man. I've been doing it for a little while now anyway, do you know what I mean? At least when I was in SL2 and everything. And, you know, I used to MC for Slip Man. I used to do the early rain dances, so... I don't know, man. It's just, I just come out and do my thing, really, you know? Yeah, so I, mean, I want to enjoy it. Don't you get sort of scared when you're out there, like, you know, 10,000 people? Or... No, because, like, you know, like I said, when we was at SL2, we was doing shows, like, every week. And you're doing that sort of, you know, you're used to travelling around and you get used to performing in front of people, so... No, what do you think of the music culture at the moment? I mean, there's a lot of different sort of strains of house. I mean, what's your views? Uh, well, you know, it's all coming from the same thing. You know, it's just like broken up and gone loads of different directions. You know, there's the jungle, the happy hardcore, the garage, the house, and everything. But you know, it's all coming from the same thing. And do you know what I mean? You know, whatever's your choice. So I look what's at yours? it. Uh, I like the jungle, honestly. I like the happy hardcore as well, but. I do like the jungle and things, you yeah. know? I'm, I'm versatile, I like to listen to anything really, you know what I mean? Versatile. So, so do you think the Criminal Justice Bill is going to do anything to stem this sort of venue or this sort of event? Well, I don't know, well, they're doing their thing and that. I mean, as for things like this, it shouldn't have no problem, but I can't see the reason why for the Criminal Justice Bill, but, I don't know, it's one of those things. Right, so we better, it's only a short interview because I know you're rushing back on the stage to jeer them all up in a minute. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, respect for that. No, no, it's safe, man. No, anyway, but like, at the end of the day, like, raves like this is well organised and things like that. So when you come to a rave like this, it's well organised. You come in and enjoy it and it makes your job easier because everything's sorted for you. Crowd's lively, nice venue, everyone's happy, really. Yeah. Make some noise for MCJJ. <laughs> comes a countdown for the new year. How many people are ready for the new year? You ready for the countdown? Ten, nine, one, every new year for the revelation. Every new year for the revelation crew. Lucy for 95. Whistle you're shooting the JJ, take you into the 95. Who's ready for the new year? Taking you through. Oh gosh, let's go for 95. Let's hear you. All the way was inside.
And listen to the sound. Easy. And this is good music. They try to dance on the stage as we get lively. We say now move your body. We say now move your body. Sit down, pop, your pop. We say now move your body. Listen. Check, check, here we go! Welcome to my scene 95! We're gonna come alive! Oh gosh! Whistlers wanna hear you! This one for the very, very top. Now listen, it's 1995. Where is the old place jumping? No time to hang around. We're the New Year boys. How are we feeling? How are we feeling in the house? Sit down, Bob, Joe. Catch up with DJ Vines. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, he's probably one of the most renowned hardcore happy DJs around. Yeah, happy, happy, yeah. yeah happy. And, and he'd like to stress that. Tell me, what, why is it that you push, push on the happy scene? Well, I do feel that the scene originated with the happy, with the piano, the vocals, a lot slower, but obviously as time moves on, the music's got faster. But basically, rave music is happy music, jungle music is. And sort of the drum and bass is a different side, you know what I mean? It's, it should be a different color together. Happy is more sort of piano-y, vocally ends in the air, you know, smiling, 
You go to a jungle club, you really won't see a lot of people smiling. But they're having a good time, there's no doubt about it. But you go to a grave like this, happiness, you know, grave relation. Well, what can I say? Everyone's out there having a good time, you know, and all down to the real music, you know, rave music. So you fit the name DJ Vibes? It's a long story. It's all to do with um, a soul guy, a geezer who um, plays a xylophone called Roy Ayers. And his nickname was sort of Vibes. And I used to have all his albums and basically, cutting a long story short, I just nicked it off him, really. I want an extra special shout to the most important people in the place. You know who that is? Yeah, you need to go to shout! Well, this is the Dr. S. Gachet, a renowned DJ in the hardcore and jungle field. How's it going, mate? I'm all right. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. We've had a good night tonight and we've seen you play out and make the crowd go mental. What's your key to success? My key to success? Well, as in what? Pleasing the people, play music? Why you play out and get everyone more? Why I play? I always study the crowd and always play what they want. I'm always reading the crowd from start to finish. So if it ever dips down one time and I'm losing them or something, I just bring something back on to pick them back up. How did you get the name Dr. S. Gasho? Well, it's a mad one. No, I looked it up in the dictionary and I saw that and I wanted a name that's obscured. Mad, crazy. But I just thought to myself, once they um, remember the name, they, w they won't forget it. And the S, hey, well, for those who know me, they know that I'm strange anyway. That's what it stands for, it's Dr. Strange Gasho. So, like, you know, the music at the moment is quite diverse with Jungle, Happy. You know, what's your preference? Me, I prefer to stay quite, uh, right across the board. This is good. Uh, in any venue you play at, not, any, not everyone's going to like Jungle or Drum and Bass or Happy Hardcore. You, you're going to have a mixture of everyone in there. So you just play right across the board, you please everyone. Thanks, man. Take it easy, all right?
Right, we've just managed to catch up with DJ Swanee after a wicked set. He's totally <laughs> torn a place to bits. Nice one, nice one. It was wicked. Right, so, tell us about yourself. I mean, how long have you been DJing? Uh, I've been DJing 11 years now. Uh, before, like, the house scene come along, I was doing hip-hop, soul, rare groove. And it's just progressed from there, like, went into the acid into the house and onto this now. So, so you're one of the original DJs? I like to think so, yeah. yeah. No, you must be, coming up with the hip-hop scene. So, I mean, what do you think of the scene, how it's sort of progressed? And At the moment, it's got really good. I mean, the end of last year sort of like seemed to fade away a bit. It was getting a bit dark and everything. But, I mean, this year it's just gone bang. It's been great. It's got better and better and better. The jungle's come in and like, all the clubs are filling up and the music's got good. So what would you say to like things like the criminal justice bill, which are trying to sort of stop those little parties going on? I mean, what, what do you think? I mean, uh, they they can try. I mean, at the end of the day, if the law comes down on everyone, and uh, they can and they stop everything, it'll just go back to how it used to be, illegal. And the reason why all the laws come out was to stop all the legal dudes happening, so then like they can work with the law. And now they seem to be getting on top, making it harder. But like I say, if it knocks, if it, knocks it all out of the game, it's just going to go illegal again and the police are going to find 10,000 cars blocking up the motorway and a field next to it, you know? So, I mean, what's your opinion of the jungle scene, is it, is, at the moment? It's good, it's good. It's coming and it is good. It's its own style. Um, I think it'll be about a long time. But the, the scene, the music split up so much. You've got your jungle, you've got your happy hardcore, you've got your house, you've got your techno, but it's all used to be one at once, but now it's sort of like all separated. So, I mean, what's your preference, your personal? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, I'm versatile. Like, I can play happy hardcore, I play jungle. I like my drum and bass. I, I mean, I like my beats. Uh, I like my house as well, though. So, you, you've done quite a lot of, like, you know, You've been gigging quite a long time, and I know tonight you've done quite a lot of venues before you've come here. Yeah, I yeah. mean, from a work point of view, you, you must be really burning yourself out. <laughs> yeah, I feel knackered now, going around that M25 and up the M1 all the past four years. It gets to you, but it's all right. It's the job. It. Yeah, it's the job. That's right. So what about sort of getting into the music game? I mean, have you made any records? Or yeah, um, I've do, done a track with LSD a little while ago. Um, well, we've done several, but one of them was with uh, UB40. It was their label, which is Rough Tone Records. Uh, one of the, a couple of the band members at UB40 started it a couple of years ago. And we've got a lot of things coming up on their label soon. Plus, we've got our own label, uh, Collusion Records. I've done something with The Underground. It's just like, aim is to get a big studio up and going and like, get a good, good, strong label going, a bit like yourself. <laughs> I had so, to say that. <laughs> no, well, I didn't prompt it. <laughs> no. no. So, like, no, but really, I mean, you, you are sort of an original DJ in this scene and you have worked hard. Uh, so, there has been other DJs before me. Um, you know, it's been about a long time, like Cole Cox and then. Uh, I just probably got my break probably a year later than then. Uh, I think I'm one of the survivors still. Yeah. yeah.
Happy New Year! Oh, it's just a bad chance.